Hi, welcome back to Raycom TV. I'm here today with Jilly and we're going to be discussing the Comica Boom X QUA Quad radio mic system. Aimed really at the semi-pro market, but it's got a lot of really good features that, that make it well worth a look at. Um, it's UHF based uh, primarily, which um, you know a lot of the systems are 2.4 gig. Um, and why is that better? Well, UHF is used in all the pro products. Um, it, you, you're using a, a shared channel, channel 38, which is a lot cleaner and a lot quieter than, than a lot of the 2.4 gig channels. Um, you do need a license for this, um, but it's not expensive. It's £85 a year. It's available directly from Ofcom. Um, and you'll find lots of quiet areas usually within that within that space to use. And how many fixed channels does it support? Well, yeah, it has fixed channels, 24 fixed channels. Um, and the system auto syncs to find the, the, the best of those 24 channels to use and, and obviously picks four from the 24. Can I manually do that as well? Uh, you can't. Well, you can and you can't. They, they are fixed channels. so you can specifically say, I want this mic on this channel, but, but generally it's best to let the product sort it out itself. Um, you do it on the receiver, which is here, and once the receiver's selected the, the four channels that it thinks it's best to use in that area, you simply do an IR sync between the transmitters and the receivers, uh, and everything's uh, up and ready to go. So let's have a look at the, uh, the receiver, obviously a four channel receiver. You can see here I've got four transmitters, uh, they're up and loaded and we've got the four blue lights on there to say that I'm receiving signal nice from the four. Nice screen there as well. Absolutely fabulous screen. Um, you know, we'll give you some close-ups of this screen obviously yeah, as we go through the film. Um, but you can see on there there's a lot of information based on there, getting it directly as telemetry from the What sort from of information can I see on that? So. So you've got, um, you've got RF strength on there, you've got the uh, channel that you're using that the, that the product's already selected for you, you've got battery status, um, you've got the gain level because you can individually increase the gain on each of the channels, um, and you've got an audio meter of course to tell you that you, know, you can see that you're getting an audio path coming through. Um, and it's interesting as well, from the, from the receiver you can switch on and off um, almost remotely if you like, it, that's what it feels like, remotely switch off various transmitters. What you're doing is basically just stopping the audio path coming through. But it does allow you to remotely mute the transmitter if so you like. So very controllable. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, there's a few features on here that you don't find in some of the um, much more expensive kits if you like. So um, microphones, you've got two choices um, going to the transmitter here. You've got a built-in microphone so you can wear it like Jilly's wearing hers. It's a simple sort of clip on uh, and away you go. Um, you're seeing more and more of this. I mean, it looks quite big in the film, but it's becoming you know, quite an acceptable thing to see a, a, a mic clip there because they, you know, people realize it's a quick interview <laughs> situation or something like that. Um, and then the other option that you've got is to bring in a Lavalier microphone like I'm wearing here and Jilly's showing you there. Um, so bo both options available on all the transmitters. I can see here, what's this? Yeah, it's a strange thing on the on the end of the uh, on the end of the microphone. You've got a little clip next to it, um, a clip at the at the TRS end, uh, and that's to allow you to to make sure that th this stays in there securely. Um, now staying with the transmitter and the receiver, um, battery life is always a, is, a, is a key question on these things. Um, it, six hours basically on the receiver and the transmitters. However, you do have the option with the receiver that you can, around here somewhere, there's a USB input on the bottom there. So if you've got a USB power source, you can be powering the receiver at all times, uh, even when you're using it, which is, a, which is a useful thing. Can I just go back to the, the lav mic for yeah. a moment there? We've obviously got a pop filter there, but also supplied in the kit are the lovely little wind protection as yes, well. Yes, yes, the, uh, the, the furries. And they simply pop on here, which I'm gonna try and do, never work with children or furry animals. There you go, and that sits on there and it offers a bit of wind protection if you're using it outside. So let's talk about, uh, you've, you've got your receivers, uh, you've got your receiver and your transmitters set up. Uh, what are you doing with the audio when it comes out of the receiver? 
So you've got four channels to play with, as we said. So uh, in its simplest format, you can move from the receiver, move the audio from the receiver uh, through a single TRS as a mixed channel. So you'll get all four, all four channels that you're that you're, um, you're you're transmitting into the receiver as a mix. And as I've said before, you can move the levels up and down on the transmitters. So to 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 sort of take up people that are speaking very quietly or some people that are speaking you know very loudly, and you'll get a nice mix out of there through a through a single cable. Now that that very often is uh, is what you need to do, but there are times when you really want to take in a, a separate audio channel um, from from each transmitter so that you can affect a mix afterwards. And you do that because with, uh, with these units here, which is a, a TRS to two XLRMs, so you can bring in, if you were using a mixer or, or a camera that's got uh, various inputs, uh, you can bring in four separate channels uh, and then you do your mix uh, in, uh, afterwards when you're doing your, your, your post. And what sort of accessories? I mean, I can see there's a plethora of bits <laughs> and pieces on here. a table of accessories here, yeah. So uh, in the kit, first of all, it comes in a, in a nice carry case, which is, which is useful. Um, in two parts, one which carries all the transmitters and the receiver, and in the front, you've got all the accessories. The accessories being, as we've mentioned, four of those, those uh, wind bubble uh, or wind protection, uh, four lav mics, and we're using these lav mics now. I mean, they're, they're not bad quality. You know, that, uh, you know we're getting a, a good audio out of this. A um, couple of cables for connecting the uh, mix channel to a camera or into uh, a phone. Um, got the right one there? No. Yes, that one there. Um, and I can see that the, uh, the, the style is for uh, more an Android phone than, a, than an Apple phone, but I'm sure there are adapters that you can use there. There's <laughs> yeah, yeah. always an adapter. Um, you've got a cold shoe so that you can mount it on top of a camera, which is nice that they've included that. And then the two cables to bring out the four separate channels uh, onto XLR. Um, yeah, I mean that clip as well, um, it's a, it's a multi-function clip um, so that you can use that obviously on, on the clip that you've got behind or the, the clip sits on top of the, uh, the cold shoe mount. So that's a quick run through of the basic functions of the of the Comica unit. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a great product for YouTube video production. Well, what about the cost? I mean, that's <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the cost is is quite amazing. This is a four channel UHF radio mic product. Um, we one thing we didn't talk about, sorry, was range. I mean, we, you know, it's it's comfortable easily at 100 meters. Um, manufacturer claims 120. Um, in our tests, certainly you're getting 100, and potentially in the right situation, you would you would reach that 120. So, for like interviews around town with a with a, a little sort of go and shoot setup, you're never really going to be more than 100 meters away anyway. So, um, very capable product. What about the build quality? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's they're plastic. These, I mean, they so look not expensive. Metal, <laughs> but, but they are plastic, um, but they feel nice. They feel they feel strong. You know, there's nothing that feels really super cheap about it. It's um, you know, it feels very very capable. Um, so yeah, we return to to, to that price. Um, you're looking at three hundred and forty five pounds, including VAT for the complete system, which. To be fair, is incredible, and and when we first looked at this product, I mean, I, I gave it to one of our technical guys and said, look, you know, I found this product. It looks really, really nice. It's got lots of beautiful accessories with it. Um, have a little play with it and see what you think. And and he he's got various bits of equipment downstairs, and you know, um, and, and and tested the signals coming out, the signals coming in, and he's playing around and he's getting various readings. And, and he turned to me and he said, um, this is good. This is very good. And it was a real surprise, but nice surprise. Yep. So there we go. If you're, if you're in the market for a, a radio mic kit, you're just starting out, you know, you want to get involved in making some sensible films rather than just using a, a, a microphone plugged onto the front of a camera. Um, I think 345 pounds, um, well invested. That's it, the Comica kit. We've got it in stock here at Raycom. 
And um, any other questions you've got, of course, you know, let us know and, and I'm sure we'll have the answers for you. So just give us a call or send us an email. And um, in the meantime, be, be proud, proud of, of your sound. sound.